Hey guys, how's it going? So it has been a while since I posted a video, but I'm taking it back to the basics. Like I used to record my videos and then while I was working, it became a bit much to re-record my videos. So I use my live videos, but I'm coming to you guys today with a prophetic word. Um, I'm Johanna, Journey to the Kingdom. And today's prophetic word is don't sleep and miss your harvest season. And right now, the way that this word came is that I am in a place, you know, I haven't made a post, but I always talk about in my videos how I work and I work this and I'm trying to do this and I'm working my job and I'm doing all these things. But God has told me a week ago, he told me to leave my job. So I worked a corporate position. I was a leader. I was in management. I had, I made six figures and he told me that it was time for me to go. It was time for me to leave. It was time for me to take a leap of faith and just go. And so I did it. And so I've been working on my business journey to the kingdom full time. From there, he has given me two new businesses. So I am just an example of what can happen when you like just follow God and take that leap of faith and really go and then you do it. So Gabriel's a little bit loud. You guys may hear my son in the background, but he's watching TV. So I'm going to give you guys this prophetic word that he gave me. Don't sleep and miss your harvest season. So in the morning, this morning, I was sitting there and every morning I asked the Lord, where do you want to lead me? Where are we going today in the word? What prophetic word do you have for your people? And he led me to Proverbs 10, 4 through 5, NIV version. Lazy hands make for poverty, but diligent hands bring wealth. He who gathers crops in summer is a prudent son, but he who sleeps during harvest is a disgraceful son. And so he also told me to look this up in the Passion, Passion Translation, which it says, Slackers will know what it means to be poor while the hard worker becomes wealthy. Know the importance of the season you're in and, a, and be a wise son you will be. For what a waste when an incompetent son sleeps through his day of opportunity. And so when he showed me that, I was like, like, I'm at a place where I'm building multiple things. I'm scaling my business. Like my business has been doing well. It's time for me to scale. It's time for me to do the next thing that he's called me to do. But for some people, and what the Lord is saying is that you may feel like things are going good. You're getting customers, things are going well, or you may feel like this is taking too long. I've been doing all of this, Lord. Why do you have me doing all of this? But he's saying in scripture that lazy hands make for poverty and we've been talking about this wealth transfer forever but the wealth transfer is not god just coming and dropping wealth into your lap like you have to work you have to do what he's called you to do you have to make sure that everything is in place in order for it to be transferred like that system that connection all of the pieces of the puzzle needs to be in place in order for that transfer or whatever you're expecting god to do in your business in your ministry in your book deal your sales all of that Everything has to be in place. And so this is for my builders, the people who know God has told them to build something, create something, do something. This is for you. I did this message, this prophetic word on my Facebook page. And one of the ladies that I've been working with, she was like, she basically said, what did she mention? She mentioned that um, God had told her to build. And I saw in a prophetic consultation with her that God had said, once she completed the work, she would receive this refund that she was waiting for. It was a refund from a condo or something like that. But I told her, God is saying that it won't come until you complete the work. She came on my Facebook Live. I kid you guys not. You can go on my Facebook page and check it out. She comes into the video and she's like, what you prophesied during our prophetic consultation came to pass. She's like, I finished the work. I built what you told me to do, what God told me to do. And my refund happened. And she hadn't had a job for some time. God gave her a job. So not only did she get a refund. But he gave her a job in order to make more money to be able to do everything that she's called to do and pay her bills and all of it. So it just shows you that in this season, God needs you to stay and build and create and finish the work. And so we're sitting there waiting for God or just expecting this wealth transfer to happen. But God is saying in scripture, lazy hands make for poverty. And he's told me to break this down this way. So if we look at the first part of it. Lazy hands make for poverty, but diligent hands bring wealth. So if you're just not doing what God told you to do, you're not moving into where he's telling you to go, you're not creating and, and building and doing it, and you just expect him to come in and just create it for you, it's not going to happen. That's a lazy hand. God is telling you to get up. God is telling you you are in the works to be a pastor. God wants you to be a pastor, but and he's telling you to wake up at 3.30 a.m. to read the word and, and, and become more familiar in the word, but you're not waking up. You know you need to wake up to read the word, but you don't do it. That's that lazy hand. 
where he needs to prepare you. He needs to get you ready. He needs these things in place. But that lazy hand is making for poverty. That lazy hand is stopping you from receiving the blessing. That lazy hand is stopping you from getting everything that God has for you. But the diligent hands brings wealth. The diligent hand is where you are doing what God has called you to do. You're building what he told you to do. He, you're building what he told you to build. And even though it doesn't make sense, even though you may not have customers, even though your ministry is not booming, even though anything that you're doing doesn't make sense. And, and the example I gave in my Facebook video is that, like Noah, God told Noah to build the ark. There was no rain. There was no sign. He had to go to God for resources. And he had to go to God to say, Lord, I need your help. And, and for me, for my business, I'm not great in Canva. I'm not great creating and designing, but on this video, I've been testing it out. So I put a, a little thumbnail on this because I've been working on it, but I prayed and I asked God, Lord, like, I don't want to outsource this. I want to be able to make my own things when I want it at that time. And it was like this morning, he downloaded the ability to create, to design things. And it just came because I had prayed. And so he sent me to this journal and I was just looking at it and it had Matthew 7 and 7 ask and it will be given to you seek and you will find knock and the door will be open to you like this is in the back of this book but there's scripture at the bottom of it and he just told me to pick this up and read it and so he was basically telling me to add this to this, to this prophetic word so that if you're in need of resources ask and it will be given to you if you're in need of a skill that you don't have like for me canva ask him and it will be given i, I kid you guys not i was struggling with the branding the new branding for journey to the kingdom like he told me to focus him more on the supernatural. Like for me, he told me that I was encapsulated in the prophetic. That's how he explained it to me. And he told me to focus Journey to the Kingdom on more supernatural look, like the blues and the purples and the pinks versus the black and gold that I started with. So you guys may notice my logo may change, my branding may change because this is where he's taking me. And I woke up to a vision of like my website, the way that he was showing me how to build it where to take it because I, I sought him. I went out, Lord, I need your direction. I need you to tell me what to do. So if you're someone who's confused, you're lost. I mentioned a prophetic consultation. You guys can book it today. I'm gonna put the link. I'm so excited because I left my job. So you guys don't need to email me bef like before I had to go back and forth in emails. You can just book um, in the description, click my calendar and pick, I'm booked until next week. So if you're someone who's stuck, you're like, God is telling me to build it, but I don't really know what to do. God is telling me to launch this, but I don't know the next steps. God is telling me to focus in my, my uh, attention in this area. If that's something that you need help with, just go to my description. You can go to my Calendly and book a consultation because that is what I do. I've helped so many women, so and actually men too. Um, shout out to Ira. If you watch this, I know God sent you to my videos. But I have left my job, Ira, and I know we had a prophetic consultation and God showed me that he was swimming in, spir in, super in spiritual gifts, that he would, he would become a pastor. God told me that his people, he was looking for his people on Facebook, but God is like telling me in the prophetic consultation that his people are on Clubhouse. And he's like, I've been feeling like I need to go to Clubhouse. So Ira, if you're watching, I need to reply to your email. It's been very busy since I left my job, but I did take that leap. So I'm excited. But anyway, back to the prophetic work. Um... So keep going. He who gathers crops in summer is a prudent son. So he had me look up the word prudent. Prudent is defined as acting with or sharing care and thought about the future. So just remembering that you're doing this for yourself, for future you. You're doing it for future generations. You're doing this to set things up for later. Don't just think about today. Don't just think about, oh, God has me doing all of this work. I, when is it going to happen? You know, when Noah built the ark, he made like his like his his kids and everyone it was generational it was for the future so know that this is generational you it made it it's generational wealth things that you're building it's it's setting you up for the future so it may feel like it's overwhelming you may feel tired and you don't want to do it right now but just know you know prudent acting with or sharing care and thought about the future and then the last thing he had me break it down but he who sleeps during harvest is a disgraceful son. So let me look up disgraceful, shockingly unacceptable. For me, I like the passion translation better for this one to say, but what a waste when an incompetent son sleeps through his day of opportunity. And I'm going to highlight day of opportunity. So if you are on here and you're sleeping away, you're on here and time is just passing you by. You're on here and like this, this the title says, don't sleep and miss your harvest season in scripture incompetent son sleeps through his day of opportunity i mentioned this before where i'm someone i don't want to say shoulda coulda woulda i don't want to say i should have did that god told me to start that business but look over there that person is like 
God will raise someone else up if you are not in position, and this is in the Bible, like it's biblical. If you are not in place, God can raise someone else up to do it. And so I'm someone, I don't want to look back and say, man, I should have done it. God, man, God told me to create that business. God told me to launch that podcast. God told me to do all of this. God told me to study this, and I didn't do it. And then you look back and it's just like, what would have happened? What would my life look like if at that moment, at the appointed time, the time that I was supposed to do it, I actually did what God told me to do? For me, I don't want to look back and say that. I don't want to look back and think about what could have happened, what should have happened. And if this is for you, I pray that God gets this message to whoever needs it. And that I pray that this message is like a battery in your back. Like it ch charges you up to do what God is calling you to do. If you have been feeling drained by the enemy, that this gives you the energy to get back up and keep moving. If you have been feeling exhausted, headaches, getting hit with attacks, that this prophetic word gives you the courage and the strength and the energy to finish the work. And I mentioned this before. What if Noah just gave up and didn't finish building the ark? And he didn't finish building. God told him to go out and do all of this and build the ark and do all of this. Because God had to provide those resources to build the ark, number one. So God provided. He asked for it and God provided. Number two, imagine if Noah just decided to give up on building the ark. What would have happened if Noah gave up? God needed it to happen. God needs you to build that business. God needs you to start that ministry. God needs you to start that podcast to get that message out to the people who are called to whatever it is that you're meant to build. So just imagine that. Imagine if God, if, if Noah never finished the work. So at this time, it's really important to finish the work. It's so important to get the job done. It's so important to allow yourself to, if you need to, take a break, rest, sleep, but get back to it. And another part um, that he highlighted, he highlighted the word gathers. So he who gathers, gathering the people gathering the parts gathering whatever it is that you need to gather because that is exactly how he broke it down it's in capital letters he who gathers crops in the summer is a prudent son and it's taking me back to the ant like the ants work and they put things in place and they're helping each other out and they're putting everything in place before they look around and it's like oh man i should have finished it like an ant is not just going to let things happen like they're going to act they're going to be prudent because they're thinking about the future be prudent and getting things done to make sure that everything is in place so that when God says, all right, it's time to open up the doors on your business, it's about to boom. You're about to have increase. I'm about to send all of this to you. Your, let's say your house, you've already built your house. My God is telling you to do this stuff. Your house is built. Your house is ready. Your open sign is up. People are flowing in. People are coming in. But think about it this way. God has had six months, one year, however long you've been building it. All this time he's been telling you to do it. But you have been the incompetent son sleep through his op day of opportunity. You've been that incompetent son sleeping through your day of opportunity. And I'm going to decree and declare that today you realize that this is your opportunity. That this is your day of opportunity to get the job done. To finish the work. To make sure that you don't look back and say, shoulda, coulda, woulda. You don't look back and say, what if I woulda did what God called me to do. And so I pray that this prophetic word has helped you guys. Again, I just left my job and I'm so happy. Hopefully I have more, well, I will have more time to post more prophetic words. But this is me just after taking a week of really just resting and really just working on my schedule and trying to get things balanced. But um, I will be hopping on this way, even though it's kind of like double work. But I've always made my videos beforehand where I just recorded them and uploaded them. So I may just go back to that. I like the idea of like testing out my Canva skills with, with thumbnails. But again, if you are someone who's feeling lost, you're feeling confused, you feel like you don't know next steps, what to do, whether it's business or in life, whether it's you feel lost or broken or you need healing, um, reach out. You can email me info at journey to the kingdom net if it's just like a question or something like that. But if you are in need of a prophetic consultation to really map out where you are and where God is trying to take you. Just click the description and you can check out my calendar calendars to schedule and book a prophetic consultation with me. So I'm super excited to be back because this is like a new season for me and where God has taken me and what he has me doing. But I pray that this has helped you guys and I will talk to you guys later.